welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so for today's video, uh, I've been doing a lot of React videos, and I wanted to do some more basic uh, web design, HTML, CSS type stuff, and uh, came across this page on w3schools.com. Say what you will about it. I don't care what you say. It's a decent... Um, source for basic web knowledge and we have this html attribute reference page which has all these html attributes uh, a whole list of them you can check it out um, here uh, and they're just html attributes that you can add to um, html tags uh, to make your life as a front-end web de developer just a little bit easier um, so this is the URL tags ref attributes that ASP um, and go through it. But I, so I picked out the top seven that are probably in my opinion, the most useful and also uh, the most uh, that are not known about, um, you know, there's common ones to some degree, but they're, they're, they're not that common. I mean, defer for JavaScript is fairly common. Um, uh, let's see ink type for a form if you if it's going to be a uh, a form that uploads files uh, let's see headers uh, let's see trying to go through loop I didn't know that uh, yeah let's see oh a name you know ID those are all attributes technically uh, you know, th there's a whole list. You can go through them. So, um, so I'm going to pick, I picked, or I, I picked the top seven, um, most useful that you might not know about. And so what I did was I have on my left, I have Adam text editor. I just have a basic folder. I created an index.html folder and I hit held down tab and typed HTML and hit enter. And it gives me this basic HTML boilerplate. Uh, I have some files over here, an image, just a random image from pexels.com. And I also have a PDF because we're going to be, uh, don't worry about that, it's an actual PDF. We're going to be working with uh, files. So I just made a, f a fake PDF file with just some words in it. Um, and over here I'm running, I'm running uh, this folder on Adam live server and that's what I'm getting over here okay so obviously nothing here yet um, but the nice thing about Adam live server is that we can do do there we can change something save it and then it automatically reloads in the browser okay so let's get started okay so um, hmm so we go backwards or forwards. These aren't in any real particular order, so I don't think it really matters. Um, it's not like most important to least important, but they are just the top seven. So let's let's do the first one. And the first one is called contendable. It's a global attribute uh, that specifies whether the content of an element is editable or not, meaning editable through the uh, oops. Uh, editable through the browser itself. So let's see what that would look like. I'm going to give it another p tag and I'm going to just type something in here. Text. Okay, random text. And I'm going to add the contendable, as you can see, Adam gives it to me. And you have to set it to true or false. So you could set it to false if you don't want it to be, but it's, it's false by default. But if we set it to true, let's see what we get. So there's our text. Now, if you click in here, you'll notice that I can type and I can edit it. Now, of course, on save, it changes back and you can whatever. Excuse me. So that's uh, kind of a fun one. I'm going to delete all these, uh, but I will leave. Um, I'll leave the link to the W3 schools page. You can go ahead and check it out. Um, hmm. Uh, you know what, to be honest, guys, yeah, all right, all right. You know what, I will upload it to my GitHub just in case you guys want it. Whoops. So I'm going to, uh, what the heck? So I'm just going to comment that out, okay? So 
um, so it doesn't show up, but it'll still be there. Okay, guys. So our next one is where we get to work with our PDF file, this fake .pdf thing over here that I created. And so basically, this one is download. It's called the attribute. Uh, uh, it's belonged to an anchor uh, element in which it specifies that the target will be downloaded. Uh, when a user clicks on the hyperlink. So let me show you what I mean. So let's create a hyperlink or an anchor tag, an A reference. And for the link, we're going to put in this fake uh, fake.pdf, which is our file. Okay. And we're going to add the attribute, which is download. Okay. And then we'll say download for the, for the link text. Let's see what that gives us. Now we get this in there, and it automatically, I don't know if you can see that, uh, it automatically downloads it to, rather than opening it in a separate window. But actually, I'll show you, if you take away this download attribute, and then resave it, and then hit it again, it opens it up in a, in a new window, and then you have to download it again. So, I mean, it's kind of up to you, but if you add the download attribute, um, it just automatically downloads it for you. So, I mean, depending on your project, you can, you can make it uh, whichever one you like. Okay. Um, okay, so let me comment this out. And obviously, if you guys go to use this, you got to change the hyper reference, which is, you know, Pretty obvious. So let's go to the next one. Now I'm going to put in a p tag. I'm going to say this text is hidden. Okay, let's save that. This text is hidden, obviously. So if we add the hidden attribute, it hides it. Okay, so it's pretty obvious. Hidden belongs to a global attribute, and as the name suggests, it uh, it hides or specifies that an element is not yet or it is no longer relevant. And I also believe that you can use this <clears throat> like with jQuery rather than doing CSS uh, display colon hidden. You can do this and then when you choose to show it based on, uh, oops, based on, um, you know, JavaScript, you can then show it. Um, so that's hidden. Uh, our next one is called multiple. Uh, it allows users to enter more than one value. Uh, it belongs to input and select elements. Okay, so we're going to use a, an input for this. Okay, uh, it's got to be, well, it doesn't have to be, but in this case it is. Uh, type of file, I'm going to delete these, you don't need those. And then I'm going to add the multiple thing. Now this is uh, basic, pretty basic. If you're if you're creating a form in which you want somebody to be able to upload multiple files, okay. So let's choose this, and then we're gonna here. Here's our fake, and we could upload that. You know, I don't. I only have one PDF, but it would allow you to select. Uh, there you go. You could select more than one, and then it says two files. But if you take that away. Uh, oops, you can only select one, see, and I'm holding the, the shift key down, so you can only select one, so that's what multiple does, okay, uh, I'm going to comment that out, that's a, that's a helpful one, and, and one that you definitely need, like, you can't create a form that has, uh, a, a file input field where you want them to upload multiple files and not have that. You have to have that in there in order for the for the multiple file upload to work. Okay. Now this one uh, is a little tricky, but it's it's a really cool thing to have, um, and I really like this, and I, and uh, I use it a fair amount. So the next one, uh, and we're on number five, by the way, in no particular order. Um, so we got two more after this. Uh, number five is poster. Uh, belongs to a video element in which it specifies an image to be shown while the video is downloading or hasn't started playing yet. OK, 
Okay, so let's create a video element first. Okay, now of course, as you can see, uh, let me just close this up a little. As you can see, uh, Adam gives us poster already, gives it to us already. So I'm going to change it to this name here, which is our image. Uh, I'm going to take away the autoplay. You can leave that if you need to, but I'm going to take that away for now. And I'm going to add also another one. So this is a two for controls, which means that it shows the controls of the video. And also, just for, uh, let's say, 100%, so just so it fits in our screen. Otherwise, it would go out of our screen and we wouldn't be able to see it. So here we are. So see this? This is a YouTube video. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, I gotta, that's the, uh, I don't know where this video is. It's from an old one. Uh, so let's do this, right? Save all. So I just picked a random YouTube video. So it doesn't, so I took away the autoplay. Let's play it. Play it. It's taking forever. All right, maybe I gotta take away the controls. I forget. No. Uh, let's do auto play. Oops. Yeah, auto play. Add back in the controls. There we go. Anyway, uh, but that's that. So that's how you use an image as a, that's what they call a poster. So let me uh, comment that out. And let's move on. Number six. Uh, this is an interesting one. Um, this is called spell check. It specifies whether the element is to have its spelling and grammar checked or not. So let me show you what you get without using this attribute. We're going to create an input, okay, of text. I'm just going to delete this this name and value just to make it uh, uh, a little less confusing. So let's just do our straight up standard input, okay? So I type something in crazy, right? You see how you get that little underscore, that red line there? You can right click that and you'll get a little menu. See, and it kind of just search for it on Google, enhance spell check, which is not as great as it sounds, add to dictionary. Now, let's add a uh, spell check, which it should add it in there, and we got to set it to true. It's false by default. Okay, so now let's type in, whoops, so now let's type in here something, and now let's right click it again. Oops. All right, let me type in experience, which is not spelled correctly. And there you go. It gives you a suggestion, right? Whereas before, it only gave you these options. But if you use the spell check, it brings up this, these suggestions of spelling. All right, so I'll comment that out. All right. Uh, so that's a nice little trick uh, if you want to make it convenient for people. Uh, okay, guys, this is it. This is our last one. All right. Um, except it's called this attribute specifies what files are supported to be uploaded, which is really nice. Uh, I think that's a really cool uh, one. So let's do an input. Okay. Let's do file. Again, I'm going to delete the name and value just to clean it up a little to avoid confusion. So as you know, save all. So let's see if we could choose a file. Let's see if we could choose this index.html file. Yeah, see, you can choose that. And you may not want that. It may be some odd file name, right? So we can change it to accept. Accept, and then uh, Adam Text Editor gives you all these options. So we're going to pick PDF excuse me and we're gonna save okay and we're gonna we're gonna 
pick our PDF. Now, as you can see, the other files in this folder is not shown, so you can't select them. And I don't think, you, let's see if we could do all files. Let's see if we could pick this now. Eh, all right, so it basically hides all the other files by default. But, you know, that's nice, right? So you can, rather than doing it through JavaScript, um, let's see, uh, there's another one you can do. So you can do accept, okay? And you could say image slash, and you can do JPEG. I mean, let's try that. So basically, so we should, all right, that's, right? Oh, there's two images, sorry. Should just be image slash JPEG. And there you go. It only shows the JPEG images, right? I guess if you said image slash uh, GIF, sorry, I keep putting two image there. Should just be ip image slash GIF, right? Bring it up. It's going to show you nothing. No items match your search. So, it, and here it's looking for a GIF. So, you know, that's nice. Let me comment that out. Um, guys, thanks for uh, watching. And I hope you found this video fun and a little helpful. I'm going to upload this. Uh, this actually, I will uncomment everything. So you can play around with it. What the hell? All right. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, uh, I will uncomment all this business. And I will upload this to my uh, GitHub. Just so you guys can have it for reference. Um, the top seven. In my opinion. Um, and again, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video requests uh, for in the future, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe. I put up a new video pretty much every Friday and sometimes in between. Um, <clears throat> that's it, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, and take care of each other. Bye.